Good morning. This video lecture is for class 7th subject English honeycomb poem meadow surprises. So this poem has been taken from your textbook honeycomb and this is lecture 1. In one lecture only we are going to cover the entire poem. Let's quickly move to the poem. The poem is very interesting as the name suggests meadow surprises. So there are surprises which nature has bestowed upon us. Moving next. Contents, the contents that I'm going to cover in this video lecture will be first introduction followed by stanza wise explanation of the poem. Each and every stanza will be explained even for better understanding. The explanation is also given along. Then summary of the poem. New words and the meaning. I have jotted down all the new words and meaning for you people. Then next is classwork followed by homework. It's mandatory to do the homework. I'll be moving to the introduction of the poem. As the name suggests meadow surprises. Meadow totally means the grasslands, you know, the nature, the beauty, beautiful green grasslands with big grasses. So, Meadows have surprises. It could be seen only if you look and listen carefully. There are various surprises if try, if we try to discover them which God has given us in the form of nature. So I'll introduce you to the poem. Walk across a green field, a park or even under a clump of trees. And you will notice many wonderful things. What are some of the surprises a meadow has for someone with a keen eye and a sharp ear? So what are the, some of the surprises that meadow has for us with, who has a keen eye and a sharp ear? That is nature, the grasslands, isn't it? If we notice all these things, they are a gift of God. A gift of nature God has given us, right? So if you go walk across a green field and park and even if you walk bare feet, you feel so nice, isn't it? So Meadow Surprises is all about the surprise of nature, right? I'll quickly move to the first stanza because the poem is really very interesting. It tends to form a relationship with nature. Stanza 1. Meadows have surprises. You can find them if you look. Walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook. So the explanation. If one pays attention, a meadow has several surprises to offer. It's a green, it's a great pleasure to walk through the velvety soft grass and hear the sound of the brook. What do you mean by brook? Brook means a small river. If you listen to the sounds of the river moving, it's so peaceful. Yes, so here the poet is saying meadows have surprises, the garlands, the grasslands, they have surprises for us. You can find them if you look. If you look carefully, you will find them. Walk softly through the velvet grass. Velvet grass means the very silky, very smooth grass, right? So the poet is asking us to walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook and to listen to a moving, a moving small river, right? So that's what he's trying to say here. Meadows have surprises. You can find them if you look. Walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook. Clear? Moving to stanza number two. You may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and unfold its drinking straws to sip the nectar I think you people are familiar with the word nectar. You must have done in your science. But anyways, coming back to this, it's saying here you may see a butterfly. You very well know butterfly is so beautiful and rest upon a buttercup, right? Buttercup is a wild plant 
and unfold its drinking straws and unfold the pipe okay with which it drinks to sip the nectar up to sip the sugar up nectar is sugary liquid right so nectar up let's read the explanation explanation in the meadows it is possible to come across a butterfly comfortably placed upon her buttercup or flowers full of nectar it would seem as if the butterfly is sipping nectar from the buds and flowers with the help of a drinking straw so the poet is saying here if we'll go to the grassland then we can find the scene there that the butterfly is comfortably placed sitting on a plant or a flower and the flower which is full of nectar which is full of liquid right sweet liquid sugary liquid i must say it would seem as if the butterfly is sipping next nectar and it would appear as if the butterfly is sipping that nectar is drinking that nectar from the buds and flowers with the help of a drinking straw clear moving to the next stanza that stanza number 3 you may scare a rabbit who is sitting very still though at first you may not see him when he hops you will so now the poet is saying that if you go to the meadow the grasslands what can you find there you can find a rabbit you may scare a rabbit okay who's sitting very still though at first you may not see him when he hops you will so the poet is saying that first maybe you don't notice the rabbit sitting there but once he hops you will be able to see the rabbit so these are the you know surprises that the meadow gives us first the scene of a butterfly sipping the nectar then next is the rabbit right explanation walking on the soft grass one may not be immediately able to see the rabbit hiding there the rabbit might get frightened by our footsteps and would hop out of the grass that indeed is a sight worth watching okay so the poet is saying that a meadow has beautiful surprises for us and indeed these are the sights worth watching right nature is worth watching moving to stanza number 4 a dandelion whose fuzzy head fussy head was golden days ago has turned to airy parachutes that flutter when you blow so what is a dandelion a dandelion is a kind of flower fussy means soft head and it was golden days ago means it was golden few days before has turned to airy parachute means has turned like an umbrella you people know how a parachute looks like so now it has turned to be an umbrella that flutter when you blow that move in the air like a bird when you blow when you blow the air right explanation dandelions or bright yellow flowers that appeared golden several days ago have bloomed and flutter as you go near and blow at them okay we have an habit no to pluck the flower and to blow right so that's what they are saying that the dandelion whose fussy head was golden which was golden a days ago and now has turned to be an airy parachute has been turned into an umbrella that flutter when you blow when you will blow air to it that will flutter that will move here and there move in the air like the bird right stands up explore the meadow houses the burrows in the ground a nest beneath tall grasses the ants a magic mound now what is the poet asking us to do he's asking us to explore the meadow houses the burrows in the ground which animal makes a burrow rabbit right the burrows in the ground a nest beneath tall grasses they are beautiful nest beneath the tall grasses 
the ants amazing mound ants amazing mound means wonderful heap of sand they make a mound like a mountain okay that's a heap of sand so the poet is asking us to explore the meadow houses the burrow in the ground a place of hiding and then a nest and then he's asking us to look at the ants amazing mound right they make beautiful heap of sands moving next to the explanation if one explores the meadows one comes across various houses there are burrows in the ground meant for smaller animals some nests are found beneath the tall grass and mounds for the ants are also there clear to everyone now moving to the last stanza stanza number 6 oh meadows have surprises and many things to tell you may discover these yourself if you look and listen well so now the poet is saying that meadows have beautiful surprises the first surprise was of the butterfly then rabbit then the dandelion then coming next is the burrows and the beautiful nest amazing mounds and at last what is the poet saying here oh meadows have surprises and many things to tell and grasslands have many things to tell you may discover these yourself if you look and listen well and the poet is saying that we can discover these a uh, nest uh, mounds and dandelions the butterflies all by ourselves if we look and listen well explanation if one is able to pay a little attention look and listen well one may find several beautiful surprises in the meadows right have you understood the poem i think the poem is very easy and it is basically telling us what surprises the meadows have for us meadows means grasslands so these are the beautiful surprises that meadow has for us now i'll be moving to the next slide that is a summary the meadow offers several surprises to the one who has an eager eye to look at the meadow walking on the soft velvety grass the sound of the brook a butterfly sipping nectar from the flowers all such sights give immense pleasure these sights are no less than the nature surprise gift do you all agree i agree completely next walking further on one may find a rabbit hidden in the grass one may not be able to see it instantly but soon it would hop in front of you because it would be scared a dandelion that was golden a couple of days ago would have also bloomed yes next one could find several houses in the meadows there would be burrows in the ground nests beneath the tall grasses mounds for ants and so on for every person there would be some or the other surprise then we'll come to new words and the meaning the next slide i hope the summary is clear to everyone the first word surprises wonders softly gently velvet silken brook a small river buttercup wild plant with bright yellow cup shaped flower next nectar sugarly liquid scared afraid of hops jumps dandelion a type of flower fussy soft 
flutter move in the air like a clear so i hope the new words and the meanings are clear to everyone the next slide is class work this we are going to discuss in the online class read the lines in which the following phrases occur then discuss with your partner the meaning of each phrase in its context this we will be doing together okay i want everyone to do it first one velvet grass then drinking straws meadow houses you have to find the meaning of each phrase okay then fourth one amazing mount last one fussy head right so you have to find out the meaning of the phrases and we'll be discussing them in the online class now coming to the last slide and that's the most important slide that you people have to focus on is the homework so i'm going to read the homework question for you all which line in the poem suggest that you need a keen eye and a sharp ear to enjoy a meadow read aloud these uh, sorry read aloud the stanza so you have to tell the line in the poem that suggests that you need a keen eye and a sharp ear to enjoy a meadow so you have to write those lines you don't have to read here you will you need to write those in your notebook have i made myself clear to everyone yes one more thing the uh, things that you have to do in your fair notebook will be the word meanings and the new words as well as this homework question is this clear to everyone great i hope you people enjoyed the poem meadow surprises it's very easy moving next okay read aloud the stanza that contains this line thank you have a nice day